Bail man who admitted to sexually abusing a child will be going to prison for almost 34 years. In June, Gary Daniel Kyle Hay pleaded guilty in federal court to 20 counts of sexual exploitation of a minor. Our Brendan Kirby has been following this case. And Brendan, the maximum penalty is usually 30 years, right? Yeah, that's right, Cameron and Lenise, but prosecutors were asking for something that's relatively rare in the federal system. They wanted the judge to stack those prison terms on top of one another. That would have what, uh, produced what amounts to be a life sentence. U.S. District Judge Chrissy DeBose didn't go quite that far. She sentenced Hay to the maximum 30 years for those 30 counts, but ordered them to be served at the same time. She did, however, tack on an additional 45 months on the final count, access with intent to view child pornography. That results a total sentence of 33 years and nine months. The facts of the case are tough to take. The defendant's own lawyer acknowledging that they involve very bad conduct on Hayes' part. The case began with an investigation by the Mobile County Sheriff's Office Internet Crimes Against Children Unit. According to the Sheriff's Office, investigators uncovered more than 60 different videos of Hayes sexually abusing an eight-year-old girl whom he knew. Prosecutors argued a consecutive sentence would adequately reflect the separate abusive acts that Hay inflicted on the girl. Defense attorney Jonathan Friedlander noted that his client just turned 26 and argued that he isn't irredeemable. He says the defendant himself was sexually abused by multiple people when he was a child. It's not enough to form a, a defense for the case, but it is something to consider um, as far as whether they can be rehabilitated or not. Um, you know, if they can, because most of them, uh, bury this stuff down if, if the person's never caught and they never get counseling for it. I hope that he can get some help and, um, you know, try to do something positive with his life in the little time that he'll have when he does get out. After his prison sentence, Hay will be supervised by the U.S. Probation Office for 15 years. The judge also ordered him to pay $45,500 in restitution to cover the future costs of counseling for his victim. Reporting live in the News Center, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.